for baseball on the show. We're live at Nationals Park here in Washington, D.C. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Washington Nationals. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny, as pitching matchups go, it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well, Matt, these are two of the best in the business, two guys that throw a lot of strikes, and if their game is on, we should have a very low-scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. It's Interleague Baseball on the show. Max Scherzer, a Missouri-born right-hander, gets the job of starting pitcher here. Dan, any thoughts? Max Scherzer. Hello, Chief. It's Max, and it's not Agent 99. This is one of the best pitchers in the game of baseball. Upper to mid 90s fastball, powerhouse slider, and a great changeup. If he brings his A game, it's lights out for the opposing team. DJ LeMayhew is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1 0. Four o'clock. Scherzer looks in. Here it comes. Not close. It's two and zero. Our temperature seventy four degrees as we get things started this afternoon. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2 2. Got to love the battle we're seeing right out of the gates in this game. That's seven pitches now, and if this is any indication, we're in for a good contest here. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Now to bat, Giancarlo Stanton. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, D. Rowe, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left handed batters. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. We're just getting started here in our nation's capital. Swung on and missed three and two. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate, looking to at least put the ball in play here this inning. Here's the 0 1. Mm -hmm. 
put that in a memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. So a pitching clinic there as he sets him down in order all via the punch out. It's on to the bottom of the first no score on the show. Garrett Cole the California born right hander is on the mound. What do you have for us on him Danny. Well I'll tell you starting pitchers go he's one of the best around. He's really found what works for him and he's had a lot of success because of it. I think he expects to go out there and dominate every game he starts and he usually does. No one should be surprised if he turns in a really solid start here into the box. Trey Turner it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. The 1 0. Hey, that's a heck of a pitch right there. If, he, if he's able to execute with that type of velocity, fastballs up and in. I can't imagine not only is going to break a ton of bats today but he's going to open up that down and away with the soft stuff later in the game. Hit down the line at first but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there really battles doesn't take any pitches off he's a grinder always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off that base exactly. and that's just what they the did right field. there. Big strikeout Long. keep that guy off the base path. Soto. Here now is Juan Soto as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and oh. One out nobody on. On the corner away a ball and a strike. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. The 2 1 home. A shot down the first baseline, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Batting third, the first baseman. Yeah. Two down, no one on base. And digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. Now here it comes. Sends that one out of play for strike one. One strike now from Cole. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Fouled off. Another one two delivery. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Here it comes. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long scrambling pitch after pitch making this guy work out on the mound. Here now the 2 2. Doesn't get the zone count full now. 
Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. We are still scoreless. Next up will be Glaber Torres. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Scherzer gets the sign. First pitch on the way. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. And he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0 and 2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good. I think he might throw it again. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Not a real good pitch there, 0 and 2. Probably not what he was trying to do with that fastball. He was trying to miss probably up and away, and he threw that one down into the dirt on an 0 2 pitch. Very rarely are you going to get hitters to chase an 0 2 fastball that's down in the dirt. 2 and 2 count, here it comes. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Gomes gathers it, and he makes the throw to first. Torres is retired, and there's one away. The third base. Boy, he's really on a roll on the hill right now. As we roll through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Bring in Giovanni Urshela. Ball one. And we'll see if he can at least put the ball in play. Something the first four men have been unable to do. The 1 0. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Here comes the one two. Fouled away. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. 3 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. The payoff pitch one more time. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And this is strike three called. Make it five straight punch outs. Two away now. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. Into the box now, Aaron Hicks. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 
He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And he falls behind 0 and 2. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. And it's fouled away. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. The one and two pitch. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. And my goodness, how about this? He struck out the side in back-to-back -back innings. Six in a row, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So now to the play, Kyle Schwarber. He set to lead off the home half of the second. The left fielder, Kyle. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, digging for two. And the Nationals get a man into scoring position. It's a leadoff double. Wow, not that sure what the pitcher was thinking. The Serving up a eight, fastball Jump. right over the heart of the plate. Very His good. eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing, putting himself in the scoring position to start off the inning. Josh Harrison stands in as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. One pitch outside for a ball one and one. Popped him up. LeMayhew over to his left and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting six. The third baseman, Starlin. So here's Starlin Castro, his career line against Garrett Cole. He comes in as a 316 hitter. Now the first pitch. The 1 0. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Now the 2 0. Chopper to short. In time to first, and there are two away. Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. He's set. Here it comes. The 1 0. Fouled off. Schwarber at second with two down. Breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box.
the set and the 2 1. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Bottom of the second here with no score. Frozen on the fastball, never had a chance, and the inning is over. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. Two complete, still scoreless here on the show. Nationals leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. At the plate now is Gary Sanchez. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Scherzer gets the sign. Here's the delivery. And he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And he's going to start this inning out the same way he started the previous two. Seven consecutive strikeouts. My word. One away. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in the inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. Rubnit Odor is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. The Yankees still on the lookout for hit number one here. Comes back with the cutter and gets it by him. One and one now. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Nope. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Fouled away. Here now the 2 2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Robles waits on it. Two down. So now the pitcher for the Yankees, Garrett Cole. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yeah that looked like a strike but let me tell you when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. And that's off the plate and high 2 and 0 oh now. Can't fall behind against the pitcher need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs and this is certainly one of them. Hitters count. The pitch. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. Third inning, no score to this point. Ball three. Three and two now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. 
too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact. And he nope. misses here ball four and somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Here's the second baseman D.J. LeMahieu. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set and the pitch. Yep, Outside with the fastball that's 1 and 0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. The Yanks leave one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Victor Robles digging in now. He'll Four lead Washington. things off against Garrett the Cole. Victor Robles. Here's the first pitch. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Here comes the one two. Two balls, two strikes. Down the left field line and deep. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And he fouls this one off. The next three two. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Batting up. The pitcher. Andrew Stevenson will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Those were great takes right there. Those were pitches that a lot of guys normally swing at, but he took both of them and finds himself in a productive count leverage 2 0. Down low, and the plot thickens here 3 and 0. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. He's set. Here's the 3 0. What a well executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Robles on at first nobody out now a throw over oh, in back in standing the three one
Heading out towards shallow right. Judges under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Back to the seven. top of the order now. Short and stop. into bat is Trey Turner. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. A strike to throw down. Not in time. He's in there at second. You know, I like the aggressiveness there. They haven't cracked the scoreboard at this point, so it's clear they're trying to manufacture something by forcing the action. We'll see if it works out for them. The one two. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Skied into straightaway right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? So the next to bat will be Juan Soto. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. <laughs> Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And it's two balls and two strikes now. The set and the 2-2. Two -two. Strike three and the potential go ahead run left on base. Nationals leave one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Austin Voss, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Back with Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, and leading off the inning, the big right-handed slugger Giancarlo Stanton. And now the first pitch. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing and one. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Here's the pitch. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Fool him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Aaron Judge comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. And it's fouled away. The next 0 2. Fouled off. The 
the 0 2 once more. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The windup and the 1 and 0. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Josh Bell, the next to hit, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball the game. Baseman, Josh Bell. First pitch on the way. The 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Rip down the first base line. Mayhew's got it, and he'll step on first himself for the out. So one down, no one aboard. And next, it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. First pitch of the A-B on its way. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Nationals. One and one to Schwarber. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The one-one home is looked at for ball number two. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. One pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips no one matter. up there that Number the bottom five. really Second falls out man. at the last minute. It's Jump. so hard to pick up, and Harris it's even down. harder to make good contact with. And that'll bring up Josh Harrison. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings. But interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Two out, nobody on. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Nationals gone in order. Through four, still tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. 
Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone. And, and now here is Gio Urshela. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Gio Urshela. From the stretch. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right hander begins to get loose. One and no pitch on the way. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here, but working around a guy can come back to bite you at times. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry. And a climbing attempt at the wall, but this ball is gone. So a two run homer down the line in left as they've taken a two run lead. Yeah and if you remember the previous pitch he couldn't get around on a fastball and was mad at himself. Well. There's nothing to be mad about anymore unless you're the guy standing on the mound wondering what just happened. Standing in now Aaron Hicks. Aaron. Yes he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Good waste pitch, one and two. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Breaks his bat as this ball is lifted into the air. Castro moving to his left. One down. Now so bases are empty with one gun. And the next to bat the Dominican born catcher Gary Sanchez. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. You know a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch that might be the case with this one right here took a wheelhouse fastball 0 0 center cut didn't even give the impression he was swinging and it's 0 and 2 to Sanchez strike three called on the slurve that time and there are two down now that digging in will be Ruknet Odor he flew out in his last A.B. And now the first pitch. Well he punched out the last guy but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. Two runs on just one hit and no errors for the Yankees so far. Hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Nationals. It's now 2 0 New York. Ooh. 
ready to go for the last half of the inning and set Leading to go as the third Washington, baseman Starlin Castro. Baseman, Starlin. Castro. First delivery to him. Now the 0 1. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. The batter. The so a runner on second with one Yon. down now. And that means the Go. catcher, Jan Gomes, bats next. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a ball lined to the left side. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. On its way is pitch number 75. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Throw in time at first for out number two. Oh, that'll now make you smile as a pitcher. Two. You make a good Victor. pitch, you, you blow the guy's Real bat up, play. and then you make the play yourself. In your head, you're thinking, nice swing, meat. Into the box, Victor Robles. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Ripped on the ground to first. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Pretty efficient game right there. Low scoring. 2-0 game, well played defensively on both sides, and a couple of runs is all it took in this one. A 2-0 finish today, so the Bronx Bombers used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Garrett Cole takes home the win. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees, two runs.